G'day everybody, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're playing a bit of Euro Trucks. Um, this is a game that is, it basically has been requested so many times that it's not funny. I know I do a lot of it and I'm trying to sort of, I was trying to sort of play something different but I get so many people saying to me, Senior, why aren't you playing more Euro Trucks? Well, look guys, let's get in and do some more Euro Trucks. So today I thought let's drive let's drive something that's um, yeah, a little bit different to the norm. Well, sort of. Well, no, it's not really. It's the norm. Uh, we'll drive a Kenworth W900L. Uh, there it is there, and we're going to be carrying some military parts, so like little cannons. I think they are. Let's have a look. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, they are Artemis 30, so 16 ton tanks the like little cannons they look like so uh, that's pretty cool and we will be going let's see we are going from brno brum, brum, whatever you know i think you guys laugh at me for struggling uh with this and we are going to katawice okay so that's where we're going a little short trip and we'll see how we go from there okay so Let's get on the road now. I have configured my truck differently this time. I'm trying something new. All right, so uh, bear with me. I've got the 900 degrees steering and um, I've changed the gearbox to be range. Okay, so uh, that is going to be totally different for me. Let's start in third. So I've got to try and think a little bit different. So we'll see how we go. So let's start her up and away we go. So 13 tons shouldn't be too much of an issue. Right. Now this would be really, really good with the track IR system, I think. Uh, spin that steering wheel around. And how are we going there? Looks good. Oops. It's the only problem with this truck is... Oh, we are not going... We're going to go around the block. That's all right. Ah, oh, hang on. I'm having trouble with my steering wheel here for some reason. Let me get in there and let's try that in first. I'm s what the hell? All right, let's try this down the road. This I've got full locked here. And I'm not turning. What the hell is happening here? The load is like way too heavy, maybe? Come on, somebody let me in. This is going to be interesting. So we have Ease54. Hello, senior. It's the Kenworth W900L. Yay! You love that truck, don't you? <laughs> right, let's try this again, turning around the corner. Now, nah, look, what is going on? This is crap. What's going on here? Why are we not turning? It's only 13 tons. So I got full lock on the steering wheel. That's rubbish. No, it is not, it won't turn. That must be because we have Taft Plays. G'day Senior, how are you this morning? Well, I'm not so good right now because I can't turn this truck for some reason. Why on earth is it not turning? I'll just... Look at that, full lock and it's just sliding around. The weight is nowhere near as, it's not heavy. This could be painful. I may have to switch trucks. This is not working for me. Ah, oh, crying out loud. 
out. Just go. And away we go. Problem is now we've got to go around some a lot of corners, so it's going to be interesting. For some reason, it is just losing traction, so... It's going to be real, make a real, for a really interesting video, I think. So, it is definitely, it's definitely the load is lifting off the ground. Uh, hang on, let's try this. <laughs> we have um, you. You. Oh, I didn't quite see that. Look, thank you very much for following. That's awesome. Let's try and get this around a bit better because um, up yours, pal. Um, I really need to get this load delivered and it just seems that the steering is stuffed for some reason no idea why right get that back on there and let's try this again shall we You always win. Good idea. <laughs> oh shit, there goes a red light. <laughs> you always win. Thank you very much for subscri for following there. Not subscribing, for following. Oh, the steering is... There's no steering in this. There we go, it gripped. <laughs> this is going to be for a hairy run, this will be. Come on, you can do it. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. We have Scamperfy says, hang on, hang on Scamperfy, Scamperfy says, Hi there senior, apologies for not being here for a while, uh, been having Twitch issues, that's not a problem mate, that's perfectly fine, I apologise for driving like a real prat, uh, having truck issues right now, and um, I'll have to try and figure it out before, <laughs> before anything else. Um, oh man, this just not steering for me. That's alright, we're on the road now, we're on the freeway, and all's good. We just can't accelerate and turn at the same time, it looks like. So, have to uh, decelerate, and, and then turn, then we can turn. This is so weird. Wow. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. Is it going to stick when we turn around here? I hope so. Yeah, it's sticking. No, it's not. It is, but it's not. It is, but it's not. I'd say it is the chassis configuration on the truck. That's why it's playing up. I'll have to uh, get that 
fixed, I think. <laughs> you s what's that? <laughs> Is your sensitivity low on the steering? Uh, no, it's uh, yeah. I've turned the sensitivity down. No, no. To I've turned the steering wheel right up to um, 900, and I'm just trying to get used to that at the moment. So that's one thing, but. The main issue I'm having is that when I go to, to turn, I lose traction on the front wheels. So that'll be the actual extra long chassis I have on there. Because it was working fine before, it was responding fine before, and now it's just not responding as soon as I attach the trailer. Need to jump in that lane there. Come on, mate. You're going to let me through or what? Well, I'm coming in. Oh, what an a-hole. Look at this AI. Ugh. Come on. I'm coming over. And there's nothing you can do about it. I think, um, uh, what we hauling today then? Well, Scampify, we're actually hauling some, uh, tank bits and pieces, like, you know, cannons and stuff, I'll show you, on the back there. So, there we are, there's some, like, cannons or whatever they are, I don't know. Looks good anyway. That's part of the, um, Mil Jazzy Cat military cargo pack. That's an awesome pack, that is. And we're cruising along in the W900L. This is awesome, this truck. Uh, come on. Right, now. Oh, we're not turning there. Oh, look, we're going to go into this emergency lane here since we seem to be having a bit of trouble with the traffic today. Damn you, traffic. Is this a sign of things to come? I hope not. I, <laughs> I don't know, I hope I don't have trouble with the traffic today when I go to work. Drive me nuts. Though I am driving through Sunnybank. Anyone who's... Uh, Anyone who knows Brisbane knows that Sunnybank is a terrible spot for driving. It's uh, crazy people driving all over the place. Are you using a steering wheel? Yes, I am. I'm using the uh, G27 steering wheel. I'm watching a stream on my TV. Yeah, that's really cool how you can do that and watch it on your TV. We can do that. Um, we can do that here as well. We got a couple of TVs that we can uh, watch it on. Well, we're doing 63. We don't want to be doing 63. that down to 50 come on and we'll set that cruise control that's 49 that'll do now got to remember to take some photos because uh, I always seem to forget about taking photos and I did see a nice spot before back there to take a photo but um, I was a bit busy, preoccupied at the time, so we didn't do it. Come on, get off, the, get off the shoulder. And it looks like we're turning just up here. I'll take a photo just here. <coughs> Love the photos. That looks totally mean, that does. right there I reckon that looks pretty damn mean let's take a photo of that
And there we go. That's the load that we're towing today. Shows everything. And take a nice one for YouTube because I'll be sending this over to YouTube as well so you can watch it again. And there we go. Let's see. So, guys, I'm trying to actually drive and read your comments as well. So, Scamperfy says, I can't play ETS 2 because I accidentally uh, updated, I uh, wiped my computer and I can't uh, be bothered to reinstall everything. Oh, that's a shame. Um, that's a real shame. And you didn't make any backups of ETS2 at all? The mod folder or the, the profiles uh, folder? Because that's a real shame when you lose all that stuff. Um, and then it says, and if you know Adelaide, hang on a second. It's really bad to drive around 5. Oh, it's really bad to drive around 5 p.m. I think pretty much anywhere uh, in Australia. Everyone's trying to get home at the same time. Um, you only, um, you always win, Scampify. How uh, do you do that? How did you do that? Yeah, exactly. Um, had a problems with Windows 10. So a lot of people have been having problems with Windows 10, from what I've been reading. Uh, so I tried to fix it, but install uh, made it worse. So, yeah, I've been having a lot of problems with Windows 10. Mainly drivers are my issue. Um, Ease says, hi, senior. Hi, Ease. How's it going? Driving, your f driving one of your favorite trucks, mate. <laughs> um, I feel bad. I feel bad, I think that's meant to be, is it? I don't know. Oops. Still getting used to the steering. i tell you what, the... the um, 900 degrees is a bit awkward for me. Let's slow this down a notch. So we don't run into that truck up there. Maybe I should have just left the standard chassis on this, I think. Which we might change. Change that up here. Uh, everyone's saying hi to each other. Hi guys. Hi. Oh, hi everybody. <laughs> I play on Mac. Yeah, um, not too many people I know play on Mac. Uh, for for this. I don't like Mac. Um, says Scamperfy. Um, look. That's a shame because Mac's got a few uh, good things. I actually like Linux best of all. Um, Eula is what I use on my notebook. And I can't, I, I know I can't, the only reason why I use the Windows based machine is because all the games that I want to play are all Windows based games. And very rarely are they, uh, do they work on Linux, so it's a real shame. I'm going to try and see if I can get up here without losing anything, so I'm going to go over into this lane, oh no, it's, it's gripping. It's gripping, that's good. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Just listen to that turbo whine. That's awesome. There goes the steering. Right. Full lock, come on. Come on, gr 
grip, damn it. It's not gripping. Let's see if we can get it going around now. Just grip. Just, I'm turning and turning and turning and nothing's happening. Drive me nuts. Okay, um, it's going to be terrible, mate. Uh, uh, struggling with a cold that is uh, getting worse by the minute and Twitch isn't working on phone, which is really annoying. Oh man, having a bad time all round, uh, Ease. Oh, look, now it's starting to steer. That was awesome. Thank you. Right, now, come on, mate. What the hell are you doing? Idiots on the road, I tell you what. Uh, I tried to install Linux, but it said I needed some sort of disk for it to work. Um, I just whacked mine on a USB key. Uh, looks like you've got some trouble with the turning there. Oh, yeah. I think it's the chassis, mate. I think I've got the wrong chassis installed on this. So I'm just going to try to limp it into town and deliver this load and then go and change the chassis over. And because uh, it's not the steering, because I th originally thought it might have been the steering, you know, because I've changed the the steering to 900 degrees but it's not because as soon as I brake it grips again grindies okay yeah is this guy gonna be a problem no he's all gone Okay. Um, it should grip no no matter what. Yeah, that's exactly right. It should grip. Do you have the chassis for the the truck? Oh, rolling backwards. Let's chuck it in first. That was my hill start back there, a little hill start. See, it'll you'll um, see that I'll have it turned, I'll have it locked like that, and then all of a sudden it'll lose grip, and then it'll start gripping. See, like that, and then it starts gripping. No, no grip when I accelerate, which picks the front off the ground. So, which is going to be interesting getting around here. See? Oh, man, come on. It's all right. It's all right. We'll get this. Nah, lost traction again. You know what? Let's reverse her up. And detach the trailer. Now, 
watch this full turn and it'll start it'll work see working fine um, I'm ch I've changed for the gears I've actually changed I normally use splitter but I've changed it to range as uh, some guys on the YouTube channel have suggested I try that um, which I did can't see oh no we're nowhere near so um, see how we go uh, it's okay now I mean I don't mind it it just takes a little bit of getting used to now next problem we got to get around the um, the corner. How long will I be streaming today, mate? Um, I will be streaming probably for another half an hour, so we'll make it an hour in total. And when I send this to YouTube, I'll split it up into two videos. So today, guys, on YouTube, you will be getting... You'll be getting three videos, three ETS videos in total. I know how everyone loves ETS over there, so... I thought, why not split it up? So three videos. Half an hour apiece. Come on, turn, turn, turn. <sighs> right, we made it. Did a few turns there, but we made it. now when I need you to turn. It's not turning. Not turning. Let's flick it back this way. It's turning, turning all right now. No, it's not. It's definitely that chassis. Definitely that chassis. What's going on back here? Do you use... Uh, i read that. Yep. Um, should have gone with the full axis, mate. Should have had uh, gone with two axis on the back yeah yeah that's right I should have should have done that which is what I'm gonna go change it to now when I get this load in oh man having so much trouble today having so much trouble it's unreal um it's still not going to go in properly. Wow. <sighs> right. Let's try this. Reverse. Nah. Nah. Guys, this is too much pain. So I'm just going to cheat. And... Too much pain for me. Right. So let's go drive.